Literature Survey presented by myself, Mariano Rubio, Ethan Rodriguez, and Jenna Ramirez. Our first review is the shaped optimization of autonomous underwater vehicle with ducted propeller using computational fluid dynamics. And this is actually to develop a procedure to use CFD to optimize hull design using Meyerian equations. And a resistance factor is used to simplify the coefficient of, frag, of friction drag. And the use of continuity momentum equations were also used. And the results showed that various nose and tail designs were able to be optimized while being compared at different flow velocities. For the next review, we have an investigation on nose and tail shape effects on hydrodynamic parameters. And this is using a genetic algorithm analysis uh, profile design, uh, again, using the Meyerian profile equations. Uh, nose and tail coefficients were obtained to simulate different profiles and the profile with the lowest coefficient of drag and friction were identified. However, only individual nose and tail comparisons were made. There was no optimal combination. For the next one, the layout effect of two autonomous underwater vehicles. Uh, this is actually a study of two holes near each other and to see what the uh, friction effects and pressure effects would be. And um, it was actually sh uh, shown that a distance of at least one and a half times the hole diameter between the two holes uh, gave the uh, lowest drag and friction coefficients. And uh, the first review is the computational fluid dynamic study of hydrodynamic characteristics of torpedo-shaped underwater gliders, uh, an investigation on how numerical computation can be used to optimize hull design. Navier-Stokes equations and energy equations were used. Physical models were based off of mining equations and comps hull metaphysics software was used to determine that uh, an angle of attack of negative 10 degrees um, mm -hmm. with a certain particular nose and tail profile was optimal. Central focus of this paper is to increase endurance and payload capacity of an AUV via reducing hull drag. An AUV shaped optimization method comprising of two components are employed, CA formulation and lifting line theory. Additionally, 3D and compressible steady state RANS equations as well as CDF and BFGS methods are utilized. Solving the optimization problem with the appropriate solver tools, 17% decrease in hull drag is obtained. In the next review, the paper's main objective is the same as the previous study, except the optimized AUV shape is classified as BHS. Taking hull drag and displacement volume as optimization targets, surrogate model using RSM and TPLHD is implemented. Moreover, ANSYS Fluent is used to simulate BHS drag. When comparing with eight other AUV shapes, the BHS shape has the smallest drag values ranging from 210 to 375 newtons at different AUV speeds and angles of attack. For the next paper, determination of the hydrodynamic performance of an AUV that is subject to a free surface is explored. The AUV shape consists of a torpedo-like hull with miring nose and circular cone tail. 3D unsteady RANS equations and K omega SST model are solved in ANSYS Fluent and a third order Stokes wave theory is used for wave generation. It is found that the hydrodynamic forces increase with wave height and decrease with submerged depths. For the eighth study, the motivation for this paper is to improve AUV propulsion efficiency by minimizing drag. Specifically, modified sub-off and base sub-off models are the subjects of the study. Numerical simulation is conducted via CFD code fluent, where 3D steady state and compressible RANS equations and K omega SST model are solved. Overall, the modified sub-off model produces 14.9% less drag than the base sub-off model. In the ninth study, a combination of ANSYS fluent and two different optimization algorithms were used to determine the optimal hull profile. One algorithm produced better results than the other, and it was concluded that a longer nose and shorter body produced the highest drag reduction. In the, the, uh, in the next study, a similar conclusion was reached. A longer nose and a shorter tail combined with a higher total length to diameter ratio led to the best results in terms of minimizing drag. The 11th article discusses the development of a hull profile based on a desired pressure distribution curve. And as you can see in the figures on the right, the results are not as accurate as that of a traditional algorithm. And the last article compares two different nose shapes and the pressure distributions and boundary layers they produce in a wind tunnel at various pitch angles and levels of turbulence. It was, just, it was determined that the sharper nose produced a more favorable pressure distribution and that the Reynolds number had no significant effect on the data.